Just recently, I bought 16 brand new IKEA Ladder AAA 750 milliamp power batteries. With new batteries, I always do a capacity test and fully charge them ready for use. To save time doing this with 16 batteries, I decided to use all three of my chargers and I also thought it would be a good opportunity to compare the chargers. This video will describe the results of that comparison. My assumption is that the four batteries in each pack are from the same batch, but that each pack isn't necessarily from the same manufacturing batch, and there will probably be some slight differences between each pack. I don't know when these batteries were manufactured and how long they've been sitting on the shelf, but with new batteries and batteries that have been in storage for more than six months, it's recommended that they are broken in. The PowerX charger has a special break-in mode just for this purpose that I'll talk about later in the video. So with the first charge of new batteries, I'm not expecting really good results. With each battery, I did a basic capacity test and that's called different things on the different chargers. On the PowerX, it's called Refresh and Analyze. On the Little Carla, it's just called Test. And with the VAP cell, it's actually called Capacity Test. It involves three cycles. The first cycle is a charge, and it charges the, the battery to full capacity. Then it does a full discharge, and on that discharge cycle, it measures the capacity. And then once it's fully discharged, it then charges the battery again to the full capacity so it's ready for use. With the first pack, I used the Little Carla charger, and the results were much better than I had anticipated because these batteries haven't been broken in yet. And the charge was actually quite close to the rated value. I then did another capacity test using the PowerX, and this time every battery was charged to beyond the rated capacity. With the second pack, I did the first capacity test using the VAP cell, and I was quite shocked. I only bought this charger about five months ago, and I've hardly used it. My regular charging, I just normally use the PowerX or Little Ocala. So this one's had very little use, and there's an obvious problem. Slot 3 looks okay, but slots 1 and 2 were very, very low, and slot 4 showed 0 milliamp hours, so there's an obvious problem with the VAP cell. I wasn't sure whether it might be a problem with the batteries, so I did a capacity test in the PowerX and got great results. These batteries are rated at 750 milliamp hours, and in the PowerX, everyone was charged to beyond 800 milliamp hours. With the third pack, I used the PowerX first, and although the results were almost exactly the same for each slot, very, very close, they're all quite low, and I suspect this is because the batteries haven't been broken in. I then gave the VAP cell another chance, and once again, there were problems with the VAP cell charger. This time, slots two and three looked okay, but slot one was very low again, and I had the same problem with zero milliamp hours in slot four. I then put the same batteries in the Lito Carla, and the results were fine. Three batteries were very close to the rated capacity, and one battery exceeded the rated capacity. For the fourth pack, I used the PowerX break-in mode, which is recommended for new batteries. And with the previous test, I would set the charge and discharge current to the lowest values for the VAP cell and Lito Carla, which is 250 milliamps. And with the PowerX, I'd use the recommended settings for these batteries, which is a 300 milliamp charge and a 100 milliamp discharge. The break-in mode on the PowerX uses a very low current. For charging, it's 10% of the rated value, and for discharging, it's 20%. So if you have batteries rated at 800 milliamp hours, for charging, it will charge at 80 milliamps, and discharging, it will discharge at 160 milliamps. 
The disadvantage with charging and discharging using a very low current is it takes a very long time, but it works very well. And as you can see here, this is the, the first charge, the, the break-in charge, and each battery has been charged almost to 800 milliamp hours. I then did another test on some Eneloop batteries I've had for a very long time, and they've been charged and discharged many times. Firstly, I used the Lito Carla charger, and although the results look okay, I thought they were a bit low, and I wondered if I could improve upon them using the PowerX. So I did a capacity test with the PowerX, and once again, there was an improvement with the, the PowerX compared to the Lito Carla. Then I did a discharge cycle with the PowerX, and theoretically, the capacity should have should have been exactly the same, but it's actually a little bit higher. Um, this is not exact science, and whenever you do these tests, there's, there's always a slight difference. Finally, I tried a break-in cycle with the PowerX. I was wondering whether that might improve things more. It didn't. It was The results were basically the same as the standard capacity test, and really the, the break-in mode is only effective with brand new batteries or batteries that have been in storage for a long time. When you use it on batteries that have been used regularly, you don't really see much of an advantage. I'll let you draw your own conclusions, but here are my conclusions. And firstly, I'm very disappointed with the VAP cell. After reading rave reviews and getting some very positive comments on my previous videos, it's very disappointing that the thing's hardly been used and it's gone wrong after five months. I contacted Vapcell. I sent them an email about 9.30 Thailand time, which was 10.30 p.m. China time, and I got a reply within minutes uh, from a lady called Eva, and she said she would contact the distributor in Thailand, and they would send me a replacement unit, which was great. When I contacted the distributor, they wanted the old one back. And as of now, they still haven't contacted me. And my experience with customer service, and I've lived in Thailand for 20 years, is not very good. Um, if, they, if they replace it, that would be great, but I'm half expecting them to say that they can't find a problem and they won't replace it. Anyway, we'll, we'll see what happens. I've had the Parex and Lito Carla chargers for quite a long time now, and they've been great. They've been very reliable and they work consistently. The only problem with the Lito Carla is that there's a problem with the repair mode. With the repair mode, it goes through a series of charge and discharge cycles. And while it's doing this, it will suddenly stop at 0% and it won't make any more progress. So if I have a battery that's got a problem and needs repairing, I will always use the PowerX because the Lito Carla repair doesn't charge. But for regular charging and for capacity testing, it's fine. And the other thing is that I always seem to get just a bit more capacity out of batteries when I use the PowerX rather than the Lito Carla. So for that reason, I like the, the PowerX best of all out of my three chargers. The Lito Carla and Vapcell chargers look better. They've got fancier displays, they display more information. They will handle lithium ion batteries and they will handle batteries that are larger size than AA, which the, the PowerX won't. The PowerX looks a bit boring. It just sits there, doesn't, doesn't display much information and looks a bit dull. But actually, in my experience, I've found it to do a better job than the other two chargers.